Hi guys, welcome back to VW Farm. I'm Lucas, and today we're going to be getting this beetle running. So we've got all the tyres blown up, and it has been sat here a few years now. So let's get it rolled out. So we've got this beetle pushed out now, and we have put an engine in it before, but unfortunately we couldn't get it to run. So we have got another engine. And here we have the engine that was in it originally. And as you can see, it's seized. So that will need a rebuild. But for now, we are just going to get it running with the spare engines that we have. So the first thing we need to do is get all these wires disconnected. So let's get them all disconnected and then we'll jack it up and get this engine out. So we've got all these wires disconnected now. So let's get it unbolted and let's get this engine out. No, no, no. no there. No. There and there, look, you see them both. Mm. So time to get the off from the car. So we've got the bolts out now. So let's get this jack underneath so we can lift the engine up and out. So we've got this engine out now and I've taken it off the jack. So let's put the other engine onto the jack and then we'll put it into the car. Does look a mess, but at least it'll be running. So let's get to it. So it's in now, so let's get the wires connected and then let's see if it starts up. So we've got all the wires connected, so let's get a battery connected, let's get the car lowered down and then let's see if it starts. It's about half full, should be alright for now, just to see if it'll run. So that's the battery in now, so let's see if the engine turns over and maybe even fires up. Stop! Right, so it turns over, so let's put a bit of petrol in and see if we can get it started up. Go on. Stop. So we've got the engine in now and we've had it turning, but unfortunately it's not firing. And we've just got his meter out and it doesn't seem to be getting any power to the coil. Right, that'll do. Yes, no. Let's get a normal battery, another one. Come on, just try it. We'll just try earthing it. So I've put some power to the coil now. 12 volts using another battery. So there's actually two batteries going to this car now. There we go. So 
Kom. So then it started, now we've put another battery onto it. So, let's try and figure out why we have no power to this wire. Because once that's got power, this engine should start on its own. So we've taken the battery off now, and we think we might have sorted this wiring out. So, let's see if it'll start up. Oh. Right, turn it. Yeah, go on, stay on the So we've got the petrol piping. So let's see if it starts so. up. This car is finally running after all those years of being sat in a field. I think it were about 30 or 40 years this car sat. So I'm just connecting the accelerator cable and I've noticed that it's actually seized. So I'm going to take this off, this cover, and we can try and unseize it. There we go. As you can see, that's solid. So let's see if we can free it up. Let's spray everything up. So let's get it threaded in. Right then, let's see if it's come out of the other end. Oh, it's pushed it through. It's there. Uh, there we go. So let's get this throttle connected. Then we'll take it for a test drive. So we've got Casper holding the light and it's just coming through now. So let's get it connected and then we should be good to go. So we've got it tightened up now, this little spanner. So let's get it started up and see how it drives. Yeah. So we've sorted out the accelerator cable now, as you can see, it's all free and working.
So we've had a drive in this car now and it seems to drive great. So now it just needs restoring. So if you like this type of content, please give us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.